Cubase 10 is right around the corner. I don't have the release date yet, but we all know that Stangberg comes up with a new version of Cubase near the end of each year. So what I want to do with you today is to share with you my top five features that I would love to see on a version of Cubase. Hopefully Cubase 10. Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. If you're new here on this channel, subscribe to the channel. And again, guys, you know the drill, share and like this video. Okay, now I'm gonna share with you my five top features that I would love to see on a version of Cubase, okay? On Cubase 10, especially, if not a future version. Uh, so what I would love you guys to do is after watching this video, please leave in the comment section down below the features that you would love to see on a future version of Cubase. All right, so let's jump into Cubase and start with the first feature that I would love to see um, on Cubase 10. Okay, now we're talking about the group editing feature. Um, I have some drums here on directly in this folder, and there's that feature called group uh, group editing that is uh, that gives you the ability to edit your events, uh, all the events within a folder, which is very useful when editing drums, for example. So I can uh, just uh, take my selection tool, whatever tools you wanna use to edit your drums, and uh, you just edit one of the events. It's gonna apply the same editing on the following, uh, on all the events um, within that folder, which is very, very practical. But the only thing though, all those events needs to be in sync. And at some point you can run into some trouble here. So let me give you an example. If um, I cut this one event just a bit, okay? Now, when I activate that group editing feature, I'm gonna see that message which tells me that the group editing could fail because all of my tracks are not completely in sync, which is fine. But what would be cool is to have the option of maybe have like um, a different type of grouping editing sync option that will allow me to, uh, to do some group editing even if all the events are not completely in sync. It would be cool, at least to, to, to snap this on and off easily. Um, so this way my editing, uh, my group editing could run a bit more fluently, I would say. So that would be one of the features that I would love to see uh, on Cubase. Now the next feature that I would love to see in a future version of Cubase, hopefully Cubase 10, is to have the send panner directly on the mix console. Um, let's, for example, take that vocal track. So if I go here into the edit channel settings um, and I want to send the, uh, my vocal uh, to the left side of an effects channel track, for example, um, that verb right here, that reverb, I have to open up the channel settings window and select my effect and then go down to the panning tab and then uh, select the panner accordingly to what I want to achieve. Okay, so it, it's a lot of steps to get to that feature. What I would love to see is that panner directly on the mix console, right beside the send gain. That would be fine. Some something you know it might be a way to to uh, to work that out to have access to both you know the send gain and the send pan as well. So that would be great. I know that Pro Tools has that. You know, with Pro Tools you can uh, directly from the console you have the send gain and you have the send pan available directly out of the console, which is way faster than having to go back into the channel settings window and down to the panning tab out of the send section. So I would love to see that feature. Hopefully Cubase 10 will have that. Now the next feature that I would love to see in Cubase 10 is the ability to move channels around within the mix console, something that we can't do right now. Um, for example, if I want to move this, um, this Steinway piano, but right to this between those two channels, it's not gonna let me do it. You know, it's only gonna copy all the settings from that uh, that one track to the selected track. But that's it. That's the only thing it's gonna do. It's not gonna move the track around. If you want to move your tracks around, what you need to do is to go in, in the project window and move them from there. That's it. That's what you need to do if you want to move your track around. So to be able to move a track within the mix console, that would be great. Now I'm gonna stay on the mix console for the next feature that I would love to see in a future version of Cubase, and it's the ability to add group effects VCA channel tracks to selected tracks, but in the project window. So let me show you. If I select, uh, let's see, those doublers, okay, those tracks, 
and I right click, I have an option here called add a group channel to selected tracks. So this is if I want to um, route those selected tracks to a group track. Uh, I can just select them all from the mix console, right click and select that, uh, that feature. Very simple. And you get that add group uh, channel track window. And there you go. You have your group channel track created and all those uh, channels routed into that group. You can also do the same with an effects channel track. If you, if I select the same channels, I right click, I can do the same by selecting add effects channel to selected tracks. And it's going to ask me to uh, name my effects channel track, choose a plugin. And there you go. I have my uh, my effects channel track right here and I have all those selected track sending the signal to that effects channel track all in one click super cool very practical I can also do the same if I want to add a VCA fader okay so I select the same tracks uh, if I want to add a VCA fader and there you go very simple so now I have my VCA fader very practical now the only thing though if if I'm working from the project window and I want to do the same, I want to select those tracks and add uh, add them to a group or an effects channel track all together like I do in the mix console. I just can't, I don't have that option. So it would be great to have the same option right off the project window. Next, this is a very simple one. And I know that this one has been asked before is the um, a way that we can just switch from mono to stereo on a track or a group track or an effects channel track. Um, right now, um, if you want to know if your track is a mono track, you go down uh, in the, on the mix console, you can go down and check if you only see one circle at the bottom of the track. And if so, that means your track is mono. If you see uh, two circles, that means it's a stereo track. So what if there was a way just to switch between mono and stereo by having a switch of some sort or right clicking and convert to mono or, you know, convert to stereo? That would be actually nice. Let's say um, I'm recording a, uh, a mono electric guitar and I just want to add a stereo a uh, stereo effect, a stereo delay or a stereo guitar, um, guitar amp or something. Um, but I recorded my track on a mono track. What I need to do, I just need to create a second track, which will be stereo and drag my event into that stereo track. And from that point I can, uh, I can insert a stereo effect. But it's a lot of steps to go from point A to point B. So it would be faster if we could just click on a switch, a stereo mono switch. Um, that could that can be available on each tracks. All right guys, so now it's your turn to share with me what are your favorite features that you would love to see in Cubase 10. Leave all of your comments down below and also your questions. And if you're new here on this channel, subscribe. And guys, don't forget to like and to share this video. All right guys, until next time, see ya.